to create a spiritual and wellness products e-commerce website on Weebly. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own online store using this platform. So let's get started by clicking on the sign up button to create a new account. And if you already have an account, you just go with login and you type in your email or your username. And then you click on next to proceed to type in your password. So wait for it to load. Then after typing your password, you click on login. After logging in, the first step of creating your store is choosing a name for the store. So it doesn't matter what name you give it now, you can always change the name later. And after choosing the name, you click on continue. Then you have a question and you have three answers. You choose one of these answers. And then you do the same with this other question. Then you proceed to choosing the category of the items that you will be seeing. So my store is in the niche of spiritual and wellness products. So I'm going to go with fitness and wellness niche and also health and beauty niche and that's it and if you can't find your category in this list just go with other then click on continue and if you already have a store in the real world you type in the address of that store if not just skip this step and then you give them a few seconds to build the store then you proceed to your dashboard as you can see this is the dashboard and in your right you have the edit side button also we have the design now button and both of them take us to the designing phase or the editing phase and here in your left we have nine sections and i'm going to go through each one of these sections and explain it for you starting with website where we have the edit side button again and then we have the, do the domains button where you can set new domain or change the one that you already have then we have the items section where, you, where we have the site items if you want to create new products or change the ones that you already have then we have the sites categories if you want to create new categories or change the ones that you already have then we have options coupons gift cards customer reviews and item preferences and that's it for this section then we have the orders section where you can check all of your orders you can see the fulfilled one the shipped one and the cancelled one then we have the fulfillment section where you can set your pickup settings and your shipping settings also then we have the reports section where you can check or see your site's traffic reports the site's activity reports the sources reports and so on and if you want to see the summary of all these reports you just click on summary and you can see them then we have the marketing section where you can find every tool that is related to growing your audience starting with email automated ads mailing lists segments and setup and again if you want to see the summary of all these tools just click on summary and that's it for this section then we have the communications section where you can find the email and text alerts pop-ups messenger and abandoned cards then last but not least we have the settings section where we have the general settings and it's basically where you can change your company name and your address or phone number and your email as you can see and then we have the checkout where you can set your payment processes like connecting your stripe account or connecting your paypal account also you can change the country and the currency of your store then we have the sales taxes if you want to set the taxes settings then we have the units where you can change the site's language or you can also edit your units so that's it guys for these sections let's go back to the overview and let's proceed to the editing phase so let's just wait for it to load so 
Now here it takes a little bit of time. So just click on the edit side button and give it from 15 seconds to 30 seconds to load. As you can see, just a second while we build your site. And here we will see the setup guide. Here it is, as you can see. If you want to go with it, if not, just ignore it. It will disappear right now. And then they will show us the styles. And we are going to choose one of them to be our site styles. As you can see. So here, let's just wait for the template to be fully loaded. And then we will choose one of these ones and see if it fits our requirements so this is our store and we're going to choose one of these styles let's start with this one and let's check definitely not this one let's choose another one let's check this one I think this one is good. We we'll just need to change the fonts. So let's click on apply site styles. Then you have the site again if you want to change it. And also if you want to add an image to be your logo, change colors and change fonts, which I'm going to change. So let's click on this. Let's go with Comforta, with this one. And then let's make it 14 pixels. Let's leave it at 15. And let's also leave it like this. Let's make it 13 here. And then let's make it bigger in here and that's it click on done and then here let's change the shape of the buttons from peel to rounded for images also to rounded then click on done and then let's click on done and if you want to search for a domain name, you can just type the domain name in here. If not, just close this one. And dismiss all. Dismiss again. And here you have all of your pages. If you want to adjust them. And if, if you want to add new ones, just click on the plus button. And click on the one that you want to add. So that's it guys for today's video. Don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to my channel. And share the video with your friends.